Hello everybody! Today we're going to learn why for plus hello equals for hello but for plus for plus hello equals eight hello why an empty string is not true why one is true and the worst of all why 66 plus true equals 67 Welcome to 33 JS Concepts Every Developer Should Know. I am Nicolas, your host for this evening, and today's video number four. This is called Type Coercion in JavaScript. What's happening here is that JavaScript is being a very good a boy, a very good friend, okay? Um, JavaScript doesn't like to show you errors, okay? JavaScript is a very, very, very forgiving language. Other languages will see this and they will be like, no, dude, you cannot do this. Like, what in the fuck? This is a string, there's a four, you cannot do four plus hello. Like, what are you doing? Or you cannot do 66 plus true. True is a Boolean. 66 is a number. Some of the language will say, this is wrong, don't do it. Not JavaScript though. JavaScript is trying to be super nice and he's saying, okay, this person is stupid, but anyways, I'm going to execute this as good as I can. And this is something that makes JavaScript very different and very special. Also, this is something that will give you a lot of headaches if you don't learn it pretty well. This is called type coercion. Coercion, you can change that to type conversion. Type conversion. Which basically means that JavaScript converts a value, okay? By force. For example, when I wanna console log 66 plus true, what's gonna happen here is that JavaScript will say, okay, so plus is for numbers, let's convert true to one. A push. And that's why then we have 67. It's the same thing as doing plus true. Same, same thing. Okay? Because plus will convert true to one. The same thing will happen with false. With false, false would be a zero. Perfect. Also works for the same thing. Console log. Whoa. Console log. Uh, 55 minus true, all right? They will always turn everything into a number, all right? So plus, minus, all that stuff will turn it into a number. Now minus, also I think multiply. So for example, if you multiply 55 times one, that'll be 55. But if you change this to false, that'll be zero because it's basically 55 plus zero, all right? Now, the difference here is that the plus operator is not gonna turn everything into a number. If there is a string, it's going to turn everything into a string. So in this case, you will see 66 false as a string, okay? This is only, only with the plus operator, all right? That it concatenates a string. It's called a loaded operator, all right? Now, for example, if I do 10 plus 66 plus false, what's gonna happen? Very well, we're going to get 76 false. The reason why is because JavaScript looks to the statements from left to right. So in this case, this is 10 plus 66. There is no type conversion happening there. So we're gonna say 76, but as soon as he sees the false, then is going to put 66, uh, 76 inside of here. So we're gonna end up with something like this, 76, all right? Very useful to know. But this is not the goal of this video. I mean, type coercion there is important because maybe sometimes you're going to try to do something like this, 25 minus one, right? And then you understand why 
it becomes 24 because you know already that minus does type coercion and it puts everything into a number, all right? Is empty string true? Voting, do, do, do. No, empty string equals false. Is zero true? No, zero equals false. Is not a number true? Nope. Is undefined true? No. Is no true? No, it's not. I mean, no and undefined and not a number are very easy to know that they're false. But this and this, I bet you didn't know. Okay? This is a string. It's an empty string. But an empty string will have zero bytes on it. So JavaScript will convert that to zero. Right? And zero will be tr not true. So for JavaScript, zero is not true. Never. All right? Now, this is happening because we're using only two of them. Okay? And I know I don't know if you've seen my courses, but I never use these two of them. I always use these ones. All right? I use these ones because they give me different results. In this case, of course, not. But if you use these ones, there is no type coercion happening. So, for example, if I change this to one, what do you think is going to happen? Voila, we get true. Because when you use two of them, type coercion happens. And what's going to happen is that it's going to try to make this a number compared it with this number, and then it will be the same. All right? So type coercion does happen. Now, if you use three of them, type coercion is not going to happen. And suddenly, they become super different objects. Suddenly, now, this is a string, it's not being converted to a number, and we will get false. Now, some unexpected things happen when you use only two. Like, this is a very useful example, because you will see that, okay, makes sense. This will be converted to a number, and then one to one, all right, makes sense, blah, 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 right? But what about this? This wouldn't, doesn't make sense at all. What do you think is going to happen here? It's false. So string true equals true is false, but one string to one is true. So that's very weird. What's happening here, for example, is that when the equals equals sees a Boolean, it will turn into a number, all right? So this will be one. And then it will try to convert this into a number. But let's see what happens when we convert this to a number. Well, what are we going to get? Not a number. We cannot convert true to a number. So in this case, this wouldn't work at all. all right? So what's happening here is that we're just basically saying, OK, true one and not a number. equals one and it, it's false. It's completely false. All right. But this is unexpected. This doesn't actually make sense because you need to understand the rules and you need to say, okay, so if there is a Boolean on the equals equals, then that means we're going to convert everything to a number. So it's kind of weird. All right. And this is why I don't use this and you shouldn't either. Always go for the three of them. The three of them will avoid all these rules that we don't need anymore and will make your code a little bit more safe. And even if you compare this, you know that you are not doing any type coercion, no weird rules happening, it's just false because the type is not the same, so it's already gonna be false, okay? So that's it for this video. I hope that you like it. It's um, This is very, very useful to know because you're gonna have many, many bugs. So yeah, next time, for example, you're comparing something, let's say that you have, let's say that you have something like this, Right, and if you just want to check that it's a, that that it works, console log, hello. Now you know that you shouldn't just do this, for example, because actually hello is a string; it's empty but exists. Instead, you can just do something like type of hello not equals to undefined, for example. Whoops, sorry, not equals to undefined. 
all right? And then now we know that, for example, hello in this case is not undefined. It's an empty string, but it's not undefined, all right? So now I will see you on the next video, number five, I guess, where we are gonna talk about type of, because we already talked about these other two. Just remember, do not use this, just use this and be a happy person. See you on the next one. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if I suck. Tell me if I rule. Share this with your friends, family, everybody. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.